embracing the Luxardo portfolio, you have this incredible uh, opportunity to share stories, legacy, family, heritage, and also intertwine with the culture of Italy and the culture of Dalmatia. And that's, I think, uh, is a very important to know because, you know, as a bartender, you know that story sells. So now, since 1947, the Luxardo set up shop in Torrelia, which is a small town just on the outskirts of Padua, uh, is a province of Italy, uh, between Venice and Verona and Milan, so it's nestled in the northeast of Italy. And this is a beautiful hillside area with, of course, the 22,000 cherry trees by the Luxardo family that uh, they're very important for the production of the Moraschino, the cherry brandy Morlacco, the Sangue Morlacco, as well as the cherries used in confectionery. Morlacco takes the name from the Morlacco troops, which uh, a very famous, very influential poet and patriot, Gabriele D'Annunzio, described the Luxardo cherry liqueur as a Morlacco blood because the Morlacco troops they were fighting against the Turkish invasion in the seven, late 1700s. So the Morlacco gave up their life to protect the land and the Venetian Republic. The blood that basically was running on the battlefield resembled this very dark, intense, rich color of the Luxardo cherry Morlacco brandy that is obtained from this proprietary Luxardo black sour cherry. There's something very important to know when you make the cocktails because of course the drink will only taste as good as the ingredients you use in the making just like a food recipe however when you're using a luxardo cherry for your classics or your contemporary uh, recipes rather than the fluorescent scary red uh, cherry that you find you know in every bar around the world it delivers a whole different layer of texture and richness in the drink that actually enhances the experience of the cocktail itself. I wanted to reproduce a julep recipe using the Luxardo Morlacco cherry brandy. The drink is very simple. Take uh, four or five sprigs of fresh mint and place them in the julep cup or in a regular tumbler glass. Muddle briskly to release the mint oils. Then you add the Luxardo Cherry Sangue Morlacco Brandy, three quarters of an ounce. An ounce and a quarter of Spanish brandy, in this particular case is the Lepanto, aged in a Solera system. And then you add crushed ice, you stir the ingredients together. You top off with more fresh crushed ice and you place the fresh sprig of mint right on top of the garnish and three Luxardo Morasca cherries. But before you do that, remember, you have to have a float of Luxardo Amaretto di Saskira to deliver that nice almond character that sits right on top of the ice and blends in with the essential oils of the mint spray that you bring it to your nose and you have these refreshing um, minty aromas all laced together with the nice almond top notes and underneath you have a deeper Luxardo cherry brandy Morlaco character with uh, of course the sweet sherry-like nutty Lepanto brandy. Add some fresh powder sugar and here you have it, it's the beautiful Morlaco Julep.